Okay, and away we go. First two mugs that we have, I would consider soup mugs. They are wider for accommodating soups or noodles or even tea, hot chocolate, coffee, sure. It's a shorter, wider style of mug. So we have a beautiful ancient copper on the bottom, an emerald falls green at the top, a copper rim, and then we have this great blend in between the two. The handle has a thumb rest at the top, and I would say this is a two-fingered handle. Three fingers would definitely be squishy. Um, I love to eat noodles out of bowls like this. I love to eat lots of food, rice bowls, lots of food out of bowls like this. So there we are. There's the first one. I priced them so that you would feel comfortable buying two. So that is the first one. Second one, very similar. Look at these great blooms on the ancient copper. Love them. Oceany blue interior. Again, thumb rest, two fingers, and there we go. So the next mugs that we have are these. This one is very special. It has Herkimer diamonds that have been two-part epoxied into the mug. We have them here on the front and here on the handle. They fit comfortably in the hand. They are not sharp. You can just lean your thumb right up against that. A two-fingered mug. You could go three. I have shades of rusty orange and blues and pinks, sort of a smoky finish at the end where they all sort of merge together. The inside is a gray blue, as you can see, with the drips falling inward. And again, we've got these great glaze effects happening. And this one is bargain priced, I would say, but uh, it is what it is nonetheless. The third one, is very similar. Excuse me one moment. The third one is very similar in its glaze. Again, the rusty oranges. We've got some even speckles of gold going on in there, if you can see that. Pinks and blues and dusty greens. A generous three-fingered handle. This one feels really nice in the hand held that way. It also feels good this way. The interior is a gray blue. And there's the back side. Again, all these really great glaze effects coming down and meeting at the bottom. And there you go. That would make a nice pair. The last mug we have today is this sort of sea grass ocean inspired. So there were, I actually carved in these sort of blades of grass. And then the top is either ocean waves or a blue sky with clouds. We've got a blue handle with a little thumb rest at the top. This is a two-fingered mug, I would say. You can also hold it in this manner. Ocean purpley blue on the inside. And this is a smaller mug than what I'm, the other two that I showed. Um, it still holds a generous amount of liquid, but it is slightly smaller um, in size. So 
again, some people like a nice hot cup of coffee. So they want to refill their coffee cup frequently and just keep getting those doses of nice hot liquids in them. The bottom has a carved out foot along the edges that has a texture to it. And the celadons again have that crackle effect. The inside is rock solid. So this one is a bargain, if you ask me. Um, so here we go. That is all five mugs. Mug one, mug two, mug three, mug four, and mug five. Thanks for looking. Get in touch if you're interested. Send me a private message. I would love to answer any questions that you may have. And have a great day. Bye.